Hi guys, so we have this question on our work energy and power, which reads, uh, use the work energy theorem to find the magnitude of the force required to accelerate a car of mass 1,300 kilograms uh, from the waist to 25 meters per second in a distance of um, 100 meters. Okay, so it's important to note that um, The work energy theorem is uh, the net work, which is equal to the change in kinetic energy. That is, the net work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy. Okay, so this means that um, what we're looking for in this case, let me just go through the equation, find the magnitude of the force. So we're looking for force. So at this stage, we know that uh, the net work is given by force net multiplied by the displacement. Let's just use x. The change in kinetic energy, that is uh, the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. So if that's the case, um, let's see how we can do some replacements. So what will happen in this case, we can say the net force multiplied by x, the displacement, Final kinetic energy, half mv squared. So it's a final kinetic energy minus half mv initial squared. Now, remember, started from rest. So the initial velocity is zero. Hence, the force multiplied by the displacement, you can just write force or force net either way, uh, is equals to half mv final squared. Remember, initial is zero, so this just cancels out. Since we're looking for force, let's make force the subject of the formula. If we cross multiply, we'll get 2fx being equals to mv final squared. So f is equals to mv final squared divided by 2x. Okay. So let's see what we get. So the force be equals to the mass given is 1300. The velocity, the final velocity, remember it's from rest to this, so this is the initial, this is the final. The final is uh, 25, and we have to square it. Multiplied by 2 times the displacement, which is 100 meters. Okay, so in this case, um, if we compute what we have here, we're going to get. 4,062.5 newtons, which can be written as 4.1 kilo newtons, like that. Okay, so there we have it. That's how we calculate uh, the force using the weak energy theorem. Thank you very much.